channel so today I'm going to explain you how to size the chill water pipe sizing so this is the topic for chill water pipe sizing so you can see this is in the last uh, videos uh, I have uh, started the chill water pipe sizing already so in the last tutorials I have uh, I have done the routing for the piping so in this video I will explain you how to do the how to do the sizing as per the actual practice I will use uh, pipe sizer tools and uh, as well as uh, I will show you how to size in the actual practice okay so let us start now before I start this video I would like to request you guys if you still not subscribe my channel please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever I upload any video you will get the notification of that video so let us start now you can see this is the floor so we will start from here okay start from the last point or a starting point okay so I am going to start from here so you can see this is your uh, FCU and uh, what will be the tonnage this is for the planning office okay so for the planning office you have to look for the FCUs, okay? The capacity. This is a planning office, and the calculated ton is uh, selected ton is three ton, okay? So this is three ton FCU. So just uh, write it here, liter per second, and uh, the ton is three tr, okay? So this is three tr machine. This is three tier machine. So, uh, as per thumb rule, the for the extender machine, the one ton is equal to. I will write it here. One tier. One tier is equal to two point four GPM gallon per minute. Okay, or flow rate is tr into 24 divided by okay tr not cfm sorry the actually here is one mistake tr here is not cfm tr okay the tonnage into tonnage into 24 divided by delta t so the tonnage for this machine is how much let's say the tonnage is 3 ton sorry 3 ton okay <coughs> so here is not CFM here is the tonnage okay sorry this is my mistake the flow rate is tonnage into uh, 24 divided by delta T so 3 tier machine and delta T is 10 degree for a standard chiller okay standard machine so 3 into 24 divided by 10 it will be 7.2 GPM okay or or directly one ton is equal to from this equation one ton is equal to 2.4 gpm so three ton is the ton is three and to 2.4 you will get 7.2 gpm okay so this is the equation so you have to write the gpm here so how to write it uh, select this text okay and here you have to make ellipse okay like this for the piping we are showing uh, the uh, text in the ellipse okay and uh, just uh, draw a line like this and just copy this text down okay and you can write chill water supply return chill water supply return
तो जीपीएम इज टेन पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट टू जी पी एम सो लेट एस ओपन दिस दिस इज द कंडीशन ओके फॉर द पाइप साइजिंग दिस इज द कंडीशन आई विल शो यू दिस इज द कंडीशन ओके टू डू द पाइप साइजिंग इफ द पाइप डाया इज लेस देन इक्वल टू टू इंच द वेलिसिटी शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू फोर फीट पर हंड्रेड फीट ओके फोर फीट पर सेकेंड एंड इफ द पाइप डाया इज ग्रेटर देन टू इंच द फ्रिक्शन लॉस हेड लॉस should be less than equal to 4 feet per 100 feet okay so you have to check with this condition the gpm is 7.2 gpm so let us open this uh, pipe sizer open this pipe sizer okay and you have to select this uh, schedule 40 okay and uh, the temperature is 50 degree fahrenheit okay and just check uh, this is the trial and error method so we will start checking from this uh, 1/4 inch pipe size so 1/4 is starting from 0.3 gpm so our gpm is 7.2 okay the pipe size is less than equal to less than 2 inch okay so velocity you have to look in this case you have to look the velocity less than equal to should be 4 feet per second okay so you can see this is the velocity okay so velocity is 22 feet per second okay so it is not acceptable so you have to increase the pipe size okay so let's say check with half inch and here select the half inch and enter the gpm now you can see the velocity is 7.6 feet per second okay so should be uh, it should be less than 4 feet per second okay less than equal to so it is not acceptable again check with 1 inch 7.2 gpm so now it is acceptable the velocity is going to be 2.67 still not acceptable it should be less than equal to 4 feet per second okay so it is acceptable it is uh, less than 4 feet so it is uh, now it is coming 2.67 okay so let us check with 3/4 uh, 7.2 gpm okay so our gpm was 7.2 okay so for 7.2 gpm 3/4 inch pipe uh, 7.2 gpm the velocity is 4.3 feet per second which is greater than 4 it should be less than less than equal to 4 so it is not acceptable so go with 1 uh, inch okay just select the 1 inch and enter the gpm so it is now the fluid velocity is 2.67 feet per second which is less than 4 feet so this is the acceptable okay so you have to write here the chill water supply return is equal to percent percent c dia dia 1 inch okay like this you have to write or let me open this uh, completed project i will show you here how it is looks like this is one of the completed project i will show you let me show you let me open this okay so this is completed project this is riser diagram actually so you can write like this chill water supply return dia and then gpm okay so go to your project okay chill water chill water supply and return cws cws and return dia 1 inch you have to write in the inches so 1 inch okay and down side you can write the gpm 7.2 
GPM. Okay. I will show you this is one of the completed project uh, okay for shield water system and this is the riser diagram actually we are seeing so you can see how it is this is the shield water piping okay for third floor and this is the chiller this is the pump and this is the chiller okay and this is the plant room so you can see from the chiller the piping is going so I will show you this is the ducting layout and this is the piping chill water piping so this is uh, 11th floor building okay and this is the riser diagram each floor how many fcus and what will be the size so so you can similarly you can write like this okay so next is uh, the next level is you can copy this one okay here and rotate this like this and move down this side okay like this and strong line okay like this and just copy this one Okay, here so what will be the GPM here so you have to add this uh, this is the 3 ton and what will be the tonnage for this machine so let us check this excel sheet for corridor so corridor the machine is 9 ton <coughs> okay so total tonnage is 9 so we have selected how many machine let us check this schedule corridor we have selected to quantity two two numbers let me check how many machines so total two machine yeah so total machine is two number okay so and tonnage is nine ton so four point five it will be 4.5 each machine so here you can write 4.5 tr go to property and make this text size little bit smaller okay so here is 4.5 tr and this is a 3 tr so total will be 3. total tonnage will be 3 plus 4.5 it will be 7.5 tr so for 7.5 tr just multiply into 2.4 it will be 18 gpm so here your gpm will be 18 gpm okay so for 18 gpm what will be the pipe size just check with uh, 1 and 1 fourth the gpm is 18 so it is acceptable it is uh, the fluid velocity the pipe size is less than 2 inch okay so the fluid velocity it is a uh, complying this uh, first uh, condition the fluid velocity that the pipe size is less than equal to 2 inch then velocity should be less than equal to 4 feet per 100 feet 4 feet uh, 4 feet per second so here your pipe size is less than 2 inch so and uh, gpm is 18 so fluid velocity in this case is coming 3.8 feet per second which is acceptable so one and one fourth you have to write it here one and one fourth sorry one and one fourth one and one fourth
Okay. Similarly for this one, for this one, uh, what will be the five size? So you have to write copy this text. Okay. Copy from here. Okay. So for this one, the machine tonnage is technical manager room. So what will be the tonnage for this one? Three ton. Okay, so three ton the pipe size will be seven seven point two GPM and the pipe size chill water supply return is one inch. Next is you have to copy this one from here. Okay, you have to copy place it uh, here okay so here the gpm is uh, you have to add just add the gpm so here is 7.2 and uh, here is this one 7.2 and uh, after adding this two the gpm i am getting here 18 and plus 7.2 so 18 plus 7.2 it will be 25.2 GPM. So here is 25.2. 25.2 GPM. So for 25.2 GPM, what will be the pipe size? 25.2. Here is a one and one half. Let us check with one and one fourth. 25.2. So the fluid velocity is 5.4 feet. That means not acceptable. So go with one and one half. 25.2. The fluid velocity is uh, the pipe size is less than two inch. Uh, less than two inch. Okay. So in this case, the fluid velocity is less than equal to four feet per second. So in this case, you can see this is the fluid velocity which is 3.97 feet per second, which is less than four means acceptable. So the pipe size is one and one half. Okay, so here is one half. Okay, so this is how we are calculating how we are calculating the pipe size. So I hope you guys learn how to do the pipe sizing. So we have to continue the same pipe sizing for all these branches. Okay. So in the next tutorials we have to continue with the same topics the chill water pipe sizing so i hope you guys learn something from this video so i so please be with me and feel uh, uh, keep watching my full videos so and uh, please like and uh, share my video and if you are new on my channel please do subscribing and so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye